Your current life is a summation of your past daily thoughts and habits. My friends, anything is subject to change. You want to get better? Just concentrate your efforts on the tasks of following price movement each and every day, learning the rules we set out here and following these charts for success. I just call your attention to what we have seen occur. Look at the S&P 500. You can look, we have one outlier here, and that's over a year ago. The others show you discernible, trackable patterns that again, when you apply our rules, you can follow. Let's talk about where we are right now. We've already hit the one times the two day average true range to pull out of the trade on half of ours. We are now running free on the other half of the trade. What do we see going on here? We see some weakening. We've opened the week not below or on the weekly trend line. We've opened it a little bit above. Doesn't mean it's not going to recover from that. We can look back in time and see where that has happened before. We can see on the up move where would have broken that trend line and then straightened out. So we'll keep an eye on things. We're still in the green here. As we look at the trade, we're below the band, uh, or the, I'm sorry, the, the weekly trend line on the two day chart and on the half day chart. But we will pay attention. We will watch this as we move forward in the week, up 0.63% for the day. What about the NASDAQ 100? Well, as we look at this, we saw some weakening last week. We can see where we're just in the red. We popped up to it once before and rolled back over going down. So we will keep a close eye on the NASDAQ 100 as it has gone from the red back up into the green. But again, even on this two day chart right here where we I'm sorry, half day chart right here where we are, we are staying right there on the trend line. Same with the two day that represents Friday and Monday. Let's expand that a little bit so we can see we're just below it on that spinning top showing lots of indecision. It is a red one. Doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the move's going to be down, but we will keep a close eye on it up for the day 0.75%. Look at 20 year bonds. They are just in the green we can see here. We have two green up candles on the two day. And when we look at the weekly, we can of course see that it's just pushing above that weekly trend line. And again, as we look back in time, we can see where if we post this, let me move this up a little bit out of the way of the volume. And you can see we've had this be an area of support right here, a floor as it were. So we are paying close attention to see where things are going to go. Are they going to sprint back up again or are they going to rotate back over and head down? We do know Looking back in time to October of last year, that's where bonds settled out. So we will be very cognizant of that. When we go to gold, we see again that gold up for the day 0.29%. It's come into the red over the last few days for just a little bit. Two two-day candles here, and we can see we're right on that weekly trend line. So we'll keep an eye on things and see how gold moves again up for the day 0.29%. So not starting off strong for the week. We look at where we are on Bitcoin. It's up 0.16%. Not much for Bitcoin. We see our Bitcoin's just sort of sitting here along the same spot here. For several days now, you can see where it plumbed that low, and it's pretty much hung out since it popped down on the 17th is what we're seeing. We can see how Bitcoin during that two-day period hit that. And, of course, we can see it on the half-day, on the daily chart, too. Sorry. The weekly chart, too, as we go from the two-day to the weekly we can see where we have that long wick on the bottom, the week beginning the 14th. So that encompasses, of course, the 17th and what we see here on the half day chart. So we'll keep an eye on things. Week starting off up for Monday and we'll see how the rest of it 
completes. So appreciate you being with us. We always love to hear from you. For those of you who are subscribers at chartingwealth.com, you will be getting the email with a special training in it today like we send out to you each and every day. If you're not a subscriber, you need to do so. Just go to chartingwealth.com, sign up. You'll get our daily emails, which include these daily reviews, the once a week weekly review and forecast, and of course, the special daily training. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team here at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.